you reap what you sow. Today was a day of faith journey. I go Bible study um, with a friend of mine who's very fundamentalist. And he was calling me a false teacher because I believe that same-sex marriage is not sin, is not condemned. And scripture that I, uh, that I have that shows it, Leviticus 18, Moloch, um, Genesis 19, Judges 19, the clauses in Romans 1, etc. But, but I left shaking, what if I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong? Because I want to be on God's side, and I know a lot of liberals will hate this, but if I believe if if homosexuality was wrong, all blanket homosexuality was wrong. I I, I don't know what I do, but so I I prayed to God over this, and then I came home. I found out about a mass shooting that happened last night in Orlando, where gays, uh, the gays and transgender lesbians killed. And then I went to a candlelit vigil uh, for those who died. And there were a lot of gay activists there, gay people there. And I did not see hate. I saw people wanting justice, but I saw people showing love, gentleness, kindness, not something I saw from my friend. And then I heard that the Lieutenant Attorney General of Texas said, you reap what you sow. There's no love in that. There's no kindness, there's no gentleness in that. So, I think God has shown me that I am on the right path, because I, I saw the Holy Spirit there. I also met uh, another Presbyterian um, who uh, believes the way I do, and uh, she is quite cute. So I don't know uh, what will happen on that angle, but uh, just... When you see fruits of the Holy Spirit from people who you say are degenerates, what people say are degenerates, I begin to wonder who are the degenerates who have the dark, sinful hearts.